How's it going football fans? Lucas Widman alongside Kelsey Steele to bring you up to date on all of your favorite TVC Hawking teams. Seven weeks are in the books and the same three teams are sitting at the top of the conference. That's right Lucas, Trimble, Wahama and Southern are continuing to dominate the TVC Hawking. Each of these teams put another win in their records this past week. Although Trimble beat Eastern 60-12, to those 12 points are almost double of what the team has given up through six weeks in the entire season. That's right, Connor Stanley has 23 of the team's offensive touchdowns, 15 through the air and 8 on the ground. He loves to find Austin Downs in the end zone as the receiver has seven touchdowns already on the season. The Tomcats will face off with the Belpre Golden Eagles in week eight. And if Belpre wants a chance to beat this team, they're going to have to score a lot more than they are used to in the TVC Hawking as the most they've given up in conference play is 21 against South Gallia in week seven. That's right, Lucas. Trimble is averaging 44.6 points on offense through five conference games this season, which is the highest out of any Hawking team. But right behind Trimble, Wahama is averaging 42.7 points on offense through six conference games. And their running game was on full display Friday night against FedHawk. They produced 387 yards on the ground, and Kane Roush led the way with 153 yards and four touchdowns. The White Falcons beat Southern in week, six, in week six to take back second place in the standings. And with the retirement of longtime head coach Ed Cromley, the head coaching career for Dave Barr starts at Wahama with a win, 53-12 over FedHawk. Wahama improves to 6-1 and one on the season and will face South Gallia in week eight, a team that Southern cruised by in a 30-46 victory in week two. The Tornadoes posted the biggest margin of victory in conference play this past week with a 60 to nothing win over Miller, a week right after tasting defeat for the first time after that loss against Wahama. If Southern can get past Waterford in week eight, they will, the Tornadoes will travel to Gloucester in week nine in hopes of creating a three-way tie at the top of the conference. Now listen closely. Trimble beat Wahama in week two, but Wahama handled Southern in week six. If the pattern continues and the away teams win once again, Southern will beat Trimble and each team will likely finish 9-1 on the season and 8-1 and with records in the conference. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, Kelsey. There's still an entire week of conference play before that. <laughs> That's very true, Lucas. The Waterford Wildcats will travel to Racine, Ohio in an attempt to hand Southern its second straight home loss in Week 8. It will be a challenge as Tornado running back Tyler Barton is a touchdown machine with 12 already through Week 6. It will be great to see what Waterford can do against Southern as well as the rest of the TVC Hawking matchups in Week 8. Tune in to WOUB at 11.30 p.m. Friday night to see how all of these conference matchups unravel. For Kelsey Steele, I'm Lucas Widman, reminding you, there's nothing better than Friday nights in gridiron glory.